What's going on guys, John Elder here from Konami.com and in this video, we're gonna start building out our actual database for our CRM project with Python and Kinter. All right guys, in the last video, we downloaded and installed MySQL. In this video, we're gonna to start to build out our database. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee at just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so in the last video, we installed MySQL. Let's pull up our code here. So, we have our SQL connector and we're connecting to MySQL, the this sort of database program. In this video, we wanna build out our actual database that we're gonna use, the table and all that good stuff. So, you know, I've, I've uh, commented out this code from the last video that lets us see whether or not we were able to successfully connect to the database, which we were. So, in this video, the first thing we wanna do is create an actual database. The, the database we're gonna put our stuff into, all of our customer data, right? So with MySQL, think of your mouse, right? You got this mouse cursor and you can use it to do things, right? You can highlight and move around. Well, MySQL has a cursor too. It's not the same thing, but just sort of think of it as the same thing. And anytime we wanna do anything to the database, we're gonna use the cursor. And it's gonna go off and do whatever we wanna do and then come back with the results, right? So we need to create a cursor, sort of an instance of a cursor. So to do that, we just create a variable name and we can call this anything we want. And let's say uh, create a cursor and initialize it type. Okay, so let's just call this thing my cursor and call it anything you want and set that equal to um, my db dot cursor. And it's a function. And this my db right here is just this connection we've created. So we're creating a cursor for our connection to the database, right? And that's it. We've now initialized our cursor. And that's pretty much all we have to do. So go ahead and save this. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually create a database. Now we've installed MySQL, which is a database, but we need to create the database that we're going to be using to put information into. So let's go uh, create database. And it's really simple to do this. And we only want to do this once, right? We're going to run this program once and then we'll get rid of this because we don't want to create a database every time the program runs, right? Because it would delete, I guess, all of our old data. We just need to create it once. So to do that, we're gonna use our cursor. We're always gonna use the cursor. So let's go my cursor and dot execute. And then we want to pass in some SQL. So what do we wanna do? We wanna create a database. And what do we wanna call it? Let's call it Codemy. So I'm creating a CRM, customer relationship management tool uh, for my website so I can keep track of my customer, cus customers, uh, their information, all that stuff. So I'm going to call the database code me. And uh, that's pretty much all we have to do there. Now, we can actually run a test to see if this it was created correctly. And uh, well, actually, let's just go ahead and save this and run it just to see what happens. So let's head back over to our thing here. And we just want to run Python CRM.py. And when we do, our little program pops up, there's nothing in there yet. But when we close it, nothing happens there. So, you know, did our database get created? Well, I'm going to go ahead and comment this out because we don't want to create the database every time. Uh, and now let's test to see if database was created. Right, and it's pretty simple. We just go my underscore cursor, always my cursor, dot execute. And what we want to do now is show databases, plural. And if we do this, we'll just get a, a weird object return that won't really tell us anything. In fact, we can save this and run it just to see. So let's run this again. Oh, I probably have a typo. My cursor dot execute show database. Oh, show databases. All right. I'm always run these things. Okay, so when we do that, the program pops up. We close it. Nothing happens. It didn't actually show anything. So what we have to do to actually show it. I thought it might return an object, but it didn't even return an object. We could return, I mean, we can, we could go uh, print 
my cursor. If we save this and run it, it'll show a little something. So we get this, we close it, boom, my cursor show databases. It shows the actual command, but that doesn't help us either. We want to see the actual names of the databases that are in there. So we could just run a real quick little loop. We could go for db in my underscore cursor and then just print out db. So if we save this and run it, we get our little program, we close it, boom, we get all of these things. So what is going on here? So here's our Codemy database that we just created. So we're happy to see that. But then there's all these other things as well. Information schema, MySQL, performance schema, Sakilla, Sys, and world. World is just uh, some dummy data that comes with MySQL. The rest of these are system things that we really don't have to care about. Um, we might look at them later if we get bored, but we'll probably just ignore them because you always do. What we really want to see here is this Codemy database that was created. So uh, we know that in fact, uh, let's go clear, our database was created. So great. All right. Now we need to really start to think about what we want to save. What information do we want to save to our database, right? And what we, to do that, we need to create a table. So let's pull up my website, codemy.com, and let's pretend like we're enrolling here. Sign up. Total membership, $49. Well, first off, we want a coupon code to get that price down. All right, now it's just $27, but the stuff we want is username, password, email address, and then we probably want the first name, last name, their address, line one, address line two, city, state, postcode, phone, country, and then we want their credit card number, expiration date, and discount code, if there was one. All right, so let's just go through here and start looking at this stuff. So what we wanna do is create a table, as we've already written here, and to do that, it's pretty simple. We just go my underscore cursor, dot execute, always my cursor, and then we wanna create table, and what do we want to call this thing? Let's call this customers, All right? We're creating customers data. So then inside of this function, we want to pass all of the things that we want, right? So, so let's go first underscore name. And we want this to be var car and then 255. I'm still getting all these big angry red things. What's going on here? All right, we're just gonna have to ignore the big red angry things for now. So let's go first name, last name. And if you're not familiar, these are data types, right? So what kind of information are we saving here? So there are several different MySQL data types. Uh, Varkar is one for text and we'll use that for text. We're also gonna to wanna to use things for like numbers. So we're gonna use integers, we're gonna use decimals, we're gonna use date for the when they signed up and all that good stuff. Um, but right now I'm just gonna do some very basic things. Let's just go first name, last name. Uh, let's go zip code. And that's gonna be an integer and we want that to be, I don't know, 10. And these inside, these are the, the character length. So 255 characters is more than enough for a first name, last name. Uh, I, 255 is I think the max, so I just always put that. But uh, you know, you could put 50 if you wanted to, to keep it smaller. Integer, you know, a zip code here in America is like 62263, that's five. So I put 10 just to be safe, uh, whatever. And let's go, um, I don't know, uh, price paid. And this is gonna be a uh, decimal. Well, actually this should be capital int. Uh, this is gonna be decimal. And for decimal we want, um, boy, I don't know, 10 characters with two decimal spaces, right? And we also want a user underscore ID. And this is gonna be an int and it's gonna be auto underscore incremented, increment. And then we also want this to be the primary key. 
These are all just database things you should probably already know. Uh, I've got courses on databases, courses on MySQL if you're interested in learning what all this stuff is in more detail. We don't have time to go into the nitty gritty of it in this video, um, but that should be fine. So, all right, we need to put all of these things on one line. So let's go ahead and do that. As annoying as that is, we could probably make this into a dictionary and smoosh it on there that way. We'll try that maybe later. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Now, here, we don't need to show this database anymore, so I'm gonna comment that out. All right, so next, we need to tell this thing what database we wanna use from now on. So up here in our connection, we wanna put uh, designate the database equal to, we called our database Codemy. All right, so let's save this and run this guy again. Uh-oh. You have an error in your SQL, oh, line 34. All right, what did we do? Maybe that. All right, so let's save this. Try this again. Okay. So now we close it. What happened? Did it work? Well, we don't really know. So let's go back. And let's comment this out because we don't want to create the table every time again, right? So now we just want to sort of show the table. So let's go uh, show table. And there's a bunch of different ways we can do this. Let's go. Now we can go my cursor dot execute. A bunch of different ways we could do this. So let's just go select uh, everything from customers. And then we just want to print uh, my underscore cursor dot description. Okay, so let's save this and run it. We get this guy, we close it, boom. Here we have uh, all of this stuff. And let's see, it looks kind of annoying. But we have first name, last name, zip code, price paid, user ID. Uh, let me loop through here real quick. Let's go for thing in my cursor dot description print thing. And let's do this. All right, so let's save this. Maybe this will look a little better. So run it, we get this. All right, it's a little bit easier to read, right? So first name, last name, zip code, price paid, and user ID. So obviously we wanna save a lot more information than this, but this video is getting a little bit long and I just wanted to show you kind of how to get started. And obviously also this whole thing is nonsensical you don't want a, a line of code that long so in the next video we will start to tweak this more we'll do a better way of that so that it's all on multiple lines so we can easily read it and we'll fine-tune this more and add all the fields that we actually want and that'll be in the next video so that's all for this video if you liked it be sure to smash the like button below subscribe to the channel and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code youtube to get 22 dollars off membership so you pay just 27 dollars to access all my courses hundreds of videos and the pdfs of all my best-selling coding books join over 60,000 students learning to code just like you my name is john nelder from codemy.com we'll see you in the next video